Um, well, it was a lot better tonight. Um, felt a lot sharper and um, focused far more than I was in the first two sessions. Um, didn't play particularly well to be 6-2 in front and then I played really bad this morning. And uh, I was quite pleased that I got three frames out of the session, so um, I sort of gathered my thoughts this afternoon and played well tonight. What do you think about then when you say that you're underperforming really? Well, maybe just um, lose concentration while while you uh, you're at the table, or it's just silly um, silly errors that um, uh, you just feel as if um, you need to just, like put out your mind and uh, focus and be professional as I was this evening. And you can't really be two centuries in '87 and the fifty and four Freds. No, I, I scored well. I, I started really well and. Um, Kept the pressure on him this evening, and I uh, was lucky enough to get some uh, good scoring opportunities. And uh, for the first time in all the games, uh, all the sessions I played so far, I felt uh, that was the best. So, so can you sum up your performance in the two matches that sound brought you to the last eight? Um, I, I played okay at the start in the match against Ding, and then I went off the boil in the middle and. Um, Obviously, just d dug in and, and was helped along the way a little bit to get over the line. And uh, this match, similar really, started not too bad but not great, and then uh, went poor and then finished off really well. Looking from the outside, Ryan, I'm a bit amazed that you've fallen off the top elite 16. Can you explain what's happened to you the last couple of seasons? Not really. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying my best and. Uh, uh, I just keep on getting beat. Um, I try to do a few things differently. After I spoke to you in the Welsh, I think um, I, t I told you I was going to try to change something. It it's taken a couple of tournaments for me to start winning again, but um, hopefully this is the start of uh, things to come. Last eight is big, though. Well, yeah, obviously it's the m massive tournament, and um, I've only got to the quarterfinals here before, so it's uh, it's a big match for me now. If I, if I can win this, it's new territory, and um, just looking forward to, to wherever I play now. Obviously, I can play Barry or uh, Matthew, and they're both uh, really good friends. So, um, just looking forward to the game Tuesday. So, what do you do? You don't go back home to put to come out now, do you? I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably stay up tonight and then make a decision in the morning. But um, yeah, I'll speak to a couple of people and, and make a decision tomorrow. Lovely, congratulations. Well okay, done. thanks. Is that as well as you've played in the Crucible for a while, right? Like yeah, yeah, obviously the four frames tonight were very good, but the um, last two two times I came here I got beat first round, so obviously um, it's, it's been a while, yeah, so uh, I, I felt really, really focused tonight. Um, I used all afternoon positively, um, eradicated sort of like bad thoughts from the way I played this afternoon or this morning and um, really sort of like come out and f had the bit between my teeth and, and played well. Generally, believe when the tournament started that you could be in the quarterfinals and on the brink of a last four place. Yeah, I knew I was getting sharper. Um, uh, I, I was sort of like obviously behind in my qualifying match and coming back gave me a lot of belief. And uh, when the draw was made, I knew it was going to be a tough match against Ding, but it was one that you had to be so sort of like really so sort of like focused for and um, up for. And I quite enjoy playing Ding, so. Um, yeah, I thought I had every chance of, of winning, and um, and then obviously tonight um, I've, I've won again, so I'm in the quarterfinals. You, you just knocked, knocked out the two Chinese players in a row, including one Sirich and another is new rookie here. How did you achieve that? Any special? Uh, no, not really. Um, uh, I, it's just. Uh, Bit of self-belief um, uh, and a bit of good play, really. Um, Ding's obviously one of the sort of like favourites for the, the whole event coming here, but um, I managed to play okay in patches and um, managed to fall over the line in the end. But uh, obviously against Cow, then who beat Mark Allen uh, in a good match, um, I was probably favourite going into this to this game, and. Um, I played okay in patches again and um, managed to finish it off well. Do you mind who you play? I mean, does it really matter? Obviously, it'd be quite special from a Welsh point of view. Right? Yeah, it'd be nice to play Matthew, but also me and Barry are really good, good friends. So um, 
uh, me the best man win really. Um, obviously, um, me and Matthew practiced uh, quite a lot for the last number of years, and um, to play him on such a big stage, quarter final of the World Championship would be uh, would be nice, and it'd, it'd make sure that <laughs> at least one of us were through the semi. So uh, we'll just see who, uh, the best man wins on the day really. You talked about your focus in the match. We were sat in there watching. There was a couple of instances. I mean, slightly amusing. One of them. Yeah. Lady, wasn't she? She looked like she off yeah, I don't know. But I think it was the is uh, I think it was the lady's husband. I think it was the second time it happened. But Michaela alerted me to the first time. I was I didn't hear it, and then well, I think everyone in the auditorium heard that one. So I think, but um, yeah, you, I, I guess I weren't playing well enough for him not to fall asleep. But that, obviously it was funny at the time, but does it worry you sometimes, you know, if maybe you weren't playing as well, that concentration would be broken? Yeah, yeah, maybe if that had happened this morning, the way my mindset was uh, in the in this morning session, I, I might have missed the next shot, but uh, tonight there was, there was no way it was going to affect me, really. Have you allowed yourself to look a little bit further ahead, Ryan, so you know, the one-seven situation and... Well, it's just one match now, so uh, yeah, I know that if if I win, if I win the next match, it, it, it all changes and it becomes one table set up. So uh, it's, it's something that everyone wants to sort of like play on that stage, and uh, I'm no different. So. And, and you, you believe you can win this one? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, if I can play like uh, I did in the last four frames consistently, which I, I know I can, then um, yeah, I believe I can beat anybody.